Good morning. Welcome to Renew, a daily devotional for you. Today is May the 27th, Wise Wednesday. For that, we're looking into Wise Wednesday's verse in chapter 27 and verse number 18. Whoso keepeth the fig tree shall eat the fruit thereof. So he that waiteth on his master shall be honored. We're looking at the honor of serving. We live in a society that places little value on serving others. Most people are focused on what they can get others to do for them and how they can receive honor and promotion. The Bible teaches that God honors those who are willing to serve. Jesus himself was the epitome of a servant, and he made himself of no reputation and took upon him the form of a servant and was made in the likeness of men. Philippians 2, 7. As God, Jesus had every right to be served, but instead of insisting on his prerogatives, he laid aside his rights and became a servant. Jesus' service went far beyond living a life dedicated to helping others. He humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross, Philippians 2, 8. Because of love, Jesus was willing to die for those who did not love him. Being a servant requires that we focus more on others than we do on ourselves. When we are willing to give up our own preferences and conveniences for the sake of others, we are living as Jesus did. He made the choice to humble himself even to the point of death. Most of us are not called to go to that extreme, but we should be willing to lay aside our selfish desires for the sake of others. When we make that choice, it does not go unseen by God. The humility and service of Christ produce great honor. Philippians 2.9 says, Wherefore God also has highly exalted him. If we are willing to serve others and trust God for the reward, we will accomplish what is most important and will one day hear the words, well done, thou good and faithful servant. Well done, thou good and faithful servant. Matthew 25, 21. Today's word to the wise, when we devote ourselves to serving others, we are truly following Christ's example. Let us pray. Dear Father, we thank you today for Jesus, the example he gave to us and how he encouraged us to humble ourselves and serve others. Teach us how to do that and honor you in doing so. We pray that each one of us today will realize what a privilege it is as your children. Whatever we do in your name and for others and bring blessings to them, that you will honor us for not only in the present because we will feel better We'll feel needed, we'll feel wanted, but also in the future. Help us all look forward to hearing that, well done, thou good and faithful servant, because we were servants. We ask you now to bless all the folks, give them a great day today. Helps to keep our chin up. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. I want to challenge you today. Put in the comment section ways that you can serve others. Romans 12, 2, and be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Have a great day, everyone.